Come to me all who are weary and burdened. I give you rest. Yes. Come to me all. Everybody who had burdened, really, really tired, get weird. Come to me. I give you rest. I give you rest. Oh. I give you rest. You can take my rest. You can feel the peace. My yoke all upon to you. Upon to you. Take my yoke upon to you. I give you peace. Yes. My burden is you. Each my yoke is like. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in heart. You will take the rest for your soul. Matthew 11, 28, 30. Jesus is calling to you, come to all. Yes, I will come before you. Many people are wearing their burdens in life while living on this earth. I have burden. Yeah. I have a disease. Yeah. I got oh let me tell you. I uh, I have the heavy burden. I I, I want to tell you the, my disease. I had uh, four four stand of a heart over the two years. My heart was stopped when doctor had operated and put the in the stand in my heart in September 9, two months ago. And the doctor had put the in electric shock. I was survived. Yeah, I, it's my testimony. I'm telling you. God saved my life. That was my burden of disease. I never had cured by anything in this medical, modern medical doctor. But God, I believe that God saved my life. This is my burden. Everyone, some people here are sick. A burden of disease like me. No matter who you are, <clears throat> you have your share of the burdens. The problem is that we do not know what to do our burden to solve these burdens you got. Moses says the ranks of our days is uh, 70 or at 80. If we have the strength, yet their span is uh, but trouble and sorrow. Psalm 90, chapter 10, verse. 
Moses said that the life span was nothing but trouble and sorrow. That's it. That I can say. I know I feel. I know you, you feel. Life is, is yeah, sometimes we feel the joy. Sometimes we will rejoice. But suddenly one day a, a big storm is coming and unexpected thing is happening. I have experience. I never thought of the I have a heart disease. I never think about the, my heart was stopped. But God saved. That I'm telling you now. We sometimes fall and despair while carrying the burden of our life when we live in this simple world. You know, husband cannot take the burden of the wife and uh, we can take another burden of the, the those who got they are suffering. We have to take our burden and we have to solve this problem we got. But sometimes we don't know what to do to solve this problem. Only when we can believe in Jesus, hallelujah, amen. amen, only Jesus can solve our problem and take our boat. That's what Jesus said, take my yoke upon to you, you will find rest in me. You know, on, okay, a sizzling hot summer, a very hot day, we can feel cool when we go to the shade of the tree. Eh? We can feel cool when we stay in the shade of the tree. Hallelujah. In the same way, even when we travel comes to us like a surging that waves and uh, even when we are thirsty and sweating because of our trouble and the burden we are taking now. What we have to do? We have to go and we can find the rest, the rest under the shade of the cross. Hallelujah. We have to go under the shade of the cross where Jesus Christ died for your rest, for your sins. You can take a rest, you can feel the true peace. All it, all praise, I will say, only this praise we can take a rest under the, the shade of the cross we'll find the peace 
joy, rest, freedom, and joy under the cross. Hallelujah. Oh. We're likely to get hurt when we trust our fellow people in the, this world. We may trust the powerful men and the famous men and some people who got rich and money. We can believe in him, we, that we might be helped from him. When they lose their power, you will be lose the two, same thing. Yeah? Am I right? You will also fall down with them when they destroyed. We may try to grab the worldly thing, thinking that such a possession will make us happy, safe. However, we cannot overcome the pain and the burden in our heart. You got your burden. You know your burden, your pain, your sorrow. Jesus is the only one. Can I get the witness? As I told you, God saved my life just two months ago. My disease, heart problem. I almost crawled to death. <laughs> Thank you, my Lord, my, my Savior, saved my life. It's my burden, my troubled heart. That's why I'm preaching now. That you, you can hear my testimony this time. I'm proudly speaking that Jesus saved my life, my burden of disease. I've been taken a long time, since 2005, when I got the, and the bypass. Bypass. That time, God saved my life too. All right. That, that is, uh, my testimony is, uh, if I get the opportunity to, 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 to introduce my testimony, I tell you later. Okay. Now, oh, I say again, Jesus is the only one. Hallelujah. Pray to the giving glory. Jesus is the only one who can take care of your heavy burden. Amen? I, I, I believe you agree with me. Therefore, when the Lord Jesus calls us, he say, today text says, come to me all who are weary and heavy burden. Take my yoke upon you. I'll give you rest. I'll give you rest. True rest you can take and taste this rest. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Huh? Huh? I'll give you rest. Hmm? We have to come to the Lord. Because I want to rest. I know you need rest in Jesus Christ. I know you have a lot of burden you are taking now. Walk with Jesus Christ. And put down your burden in front of him. Then we need to say, Lord, help me. I can't help myself. Release my pain. Release my sickness. Heal my sickness. I'm suffering. Or I've been troubling. I'm struggling with my burden. I couldn't nothing. 
without your help. Help me right now. I come to under your cross. I look at your cross. Oh, I see the, your blood of Jesus Christ. Wash me my seed and take my yoke. I couldn't get this problem by myself. Lord say, I am gentle and humble. Learn from me, you will find your rest of your soul. Jesus Christ is the place of gentleness, humility. You know, yeah, he was very humble, you know. To be gentle in heart means to be warm and soft in your heart. Let me take an example. When you poke a sponge, when you poke a, a, a sponge pad, yeah, sponge pad with your finger, it goes deep down easily. But it comes back immediately to each place if you take your finger off from it. Therefore, to be gentle in heart means to have a heart like a sponge pad. Gentle means like a sponge pad. Put the sponge pad by your finger. It, it, it come up. Immediately, just like sponge, right? Which means gently that your heart. Hmm? You will absorb all the outside attack. Listen, my brother and sister. You will absorb all the, your problem you have. Somebody will take to you and shock and harass to you. Agony to you by your enemy. You are, you are, your heart is cushion. Hmm? Cushion of your heart respond. Huh? Your heart and will have a peaceful mind. Again, shortly and put that attacking back to the person who attacked you. Because you have the heart like a cushion, spongy pad. We need to have the gentleness of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord embraces us in His arms of the love, regardless of the who we are. What kind of the sins we have doesn't matter. The cross is the place of the humility. I am gentle and humility. Christ was humble throughout his whole life on this earth. Even though he is the highest, Jesus was born in the very, very lowest place. Even though he is the King of kings, Lord of the Lord, he was not born in comfortable place. You know where she was, he was born. Jesus was born in dirty places and some dirty store and laid in manger.
Jesus was born in the very, very lowest place and lived the life of the serfs in earth. Wash disciples' feet, you know, when last supper before he was crucified on the cross, Jesus said, I did not come to be served. I have come to serve and give my life as a ransom to many, including you. Mark 10, 45. Hallelujah. Pray God. Our life needs, our life needs to be about serving other people. That is our purpose to live in this earth like Jesus Christ. Because I am humble and gentle in heart like a spongy pet. Be like Jesus Christ the heart. We have to serve the other people for the glory of the God. Then God will bless you. I believe you will be blessed if you do, if you, if you serve the people like Jesus he did. You, your son, great son, your family will be blessed. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Thank you. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to follow the, what he did on this, his ministry. Thank you, Lord. Bye-bye. See you later. Thank you.